Previously on Dang and Rampa. Well, if it isn't the drink, drink Mak if it isn't the drank Makoto, what does that mean? Oh, D drank Miles D rank. Ugh. Oh, I wish I could take that one back. I want that one back. Can I strike that one from the record? I'm gonna edit that one out. Alrighty, guys. All right. All right. So um, we just had a chat with Celeste. And uh, before that, uh, uh, Byakuya decided he didn't want to work with us anymore. Like, they, the whole group as a, as a whole, uh, which is going to be very awkward. Uh, once classes start and we all have to be hanging out together, right? I'm assuming classes start at some point. Uh, but we have some additional free time, so we're going to leave our room. And we're going to find somebody else to go talk to. So like I said, we, we've already spoken with Celeste. We gave her a cup of coffee. She seemed to like it. She really opened up to us. Um, I actually want to talk to, I think the last time I looked at the menu, the menu, the uh, the map, Toko was in her room. Dining hall. Yeah. I want to kind of knock on Toko, Toko's room and see what she's about. She kind of like freaked out. <laughs> Did you come here to yell at me? Anyway, my whole life is one unpleasant experience after another. Hmm. Should I hang out with Toko while she's acting like this? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. I was perfectly happy spending time by myself, but I guess if you're so desperate for attention, I can hang out for a little while. I spent some time with a cold and distant Toko. That face, man, is fairly creepy. And kind of, I don't know, let's be going a little bit. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Uh, it's it's super hot in this room, guys. It is, uh, it is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, which I think is what, 26 degrees uh, Celsius. And I don't have the AC running in here because it's super noisy, so. There you go. Thus the tank top. Thus the gun show. Uh, okay, so Toko and I grew, would you like to give Toko a present? Yes, I would actually. What would you like to give her? Oh, so we, we keep, oh no, we have two of the coffees. That's right, Coca-Cola. I don't think she would have like the Coca-Cola. Let's see. No, I don't think she'd really be into that. No, Emperor, I kind of want to give her the Emperor Stong, to be honest. I kind of want to give her the self-instructing cassette, Mr. Antique Doll. Maybe she'd be an Antique Doll person. Or a Moon Rock. I don't think we have anything like book-related, do we? Someone's graduation album. Oh, she's the novelist, right? Yeah, because Chihiro is the... I'm pretty sure she is. Whatever, we'll just give her this. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm already engaged to Master. So I can't go on a date with you. If you're okay with that, I don't mind if you think about me. That's really weird. <laughs> Seeing Toko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. just standing there. Does she want something? But she's not saying anything. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Um, Toko? <laughs> what? You want to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you, so talk already. Okay, sure, but what do I say? So, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? <clears throat> Why do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know... We're trapped here together, right? If we're going to be friends, it'd be nice to get to know each other. Huh? What did you just say? Um... After that part about being trapped, we're going to be what? Uh, friends? <laughs> Dude, she is... I'm telling you, she's a closet freak. She writes erotic fan fiction. 100%. What do you mean, friends? 
You think I'm stupid? You're trying to trick me? I've already been hurt once before. I'm not going to let it happen again. You've been hurt? What? What happened? Anyway. Come on. You don't really care about me. You don't want to know about me, even if I even I know that. No, no, that's not true. What the heck? Fine. Then tell me. Tell you what? <laughs> you know why they call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure. You've won all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. <laughs> and tell me what I'm good at. Tell me what my genre of specialty is. If you really want to convince me, you give a crap. You should at least know that. Uh, I think she's shit. Fuck. Shit fuck. The genre of what the ultimate writing prodigy specializes in is it's either young adult or romance. And I I want to say romance. It's romance, of course. Oh, you actually knew? Your biggest success was... Yeah, so lingers the ocean, that's right. Right? Everyone says that it's your masterpiece. The book was such a hit with the fishermen... Wait. The book was such a hit that fishermen shot to the top of the hottest men poles, right? How did you know all that? There's no way you could care about me. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? Huh? Uh, I I'm blind. Your, your straightforward nature blinded me. Toko ran off screaming like a banshee. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? Toko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the skill of vocabulary. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Oh my goodness. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. We have more free time tonight? Or is that it? Oh, it's nighttime now. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. What about the warehouse, though? Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Another day gone. But even though today is over, this game definitely isn't. How long is it going to keep going? Forever. All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Anokuma Theata. Whenever I spy a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. I can't help it. I just gaze with intensity. You and me both. The other day, I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. So Monokuma's a girl? Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Or, the, like, the other half of Monokuma is a girl? Well, I best are... I, <laughs> well, I guess I better get to the... Ugh, my gosh! Well, I... Yes, I better head to the dining hall before anything else. I was waiting for like anything else happens. Leave the area, yes. Anybody hanging around? To the dining hall. All right. I think everyone's supposed to be there, so and there should be nobody out here. Watch, watch, uh. Yakuya be there. I went to the breakfast meeting, same as always, but... 
Is this everyone? It feels a little small. Yakuya and, to and Toko stormed off yesterday, and it wasn't too surprising they hadn't come today. Even the table looks bigger, somehow. I assume that is because three people are dead, and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Still, I know Byakuya, whatever... I know, I, still, I know Byakuya is whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Togo? You're serious? I vote no. She's super annoying. <laughs> How can you be so cold? You're like a piece of rock candy. You hear me? What? No rock candy isn't cold, it's sweet! <sighs> Shit. Anyway, Byakuya is the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. We got no choice. Get some rope. We're gonna have to keep him bound and gagged. I think that's going a little overboard. Count on it. He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose, turns a loose cannon. It's just like when we were kids and someone would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You gonna use the rope to tug of war or something? Idiot. It can't be. I'm not an idiot. Yo! You're an idiot. D damn you. <laughs> Who are you calling stupid? Huh? What's wrong, Chiro? You don't look so great. Aww. Oh, I'm just going through a little self-loathing. Huh? Self-loathing? Well, after what Byakuya said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous. I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Mondo ended up having to help me out. And even he said I was someone who can't fight back. Aww. I hate how weak I am. Ah, uh, I see. So Mondo made you depressed? What? 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 How is it my fault? Hey, come on. I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway. Right? Are you crying? It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. Really? I'm not sure I can believe that. Huh? Just, just shut up. What? I got it. What? I'll make you a promise as a man. Huh? Promise? As a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said that no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Uh, left you? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah. My brother's dead. Oh, I see. That's true. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make all you guys cry. Yo. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise. You don't got to cry anymore. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mondo. Uh, sure. But? But I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. If I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about it, having, about having to get stronger. Uh. No, I, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. In this, in that case, I would be happy to help you out anytime. <laughs> but, but, then Miss Fuja Fujisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces. Just a second. Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, finally, cracked a smile, huh? I see. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. Looks like Chiro gotten some life back. Yeah, man. If we if we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. I mean, someday, I'm sure. Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up to breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? Okay, so what should I do today? Free time well, would be to talk to them, right? That would be the best the best course of action. 
I can't let my myself turn away from Sayaka's death. For Sayaka, for myself. So we can't go in the bathroom? Yes, leave the area. All right, anybody hanging out in the hallway? All right, so I guess we'll try to go back to the library. Right? We really have no reason to look anywhere else. So the idea was to go talk to them. So maybe we can go talk to Biakuya, Biakua, Biakua. No, that's not the way, is it? Can I, can't I go this way? No, we can't. No biggie. We can sprint though. I honestly, I should buy a couple more presents. While we're at it, guys. While we're at it, let's go buy some gifts. I have a feeling just like everyone's gonna start hanging out on the second floor. As well as their rooms. Would you like to try your hand against the almighty mono, mono machine? Give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's get another couple of presents here. I'll do a video of just opening up 99 options. I don't know what the hell that was. Those bottle caps? A barrette? Oh, ooh, what? Lucky? Oh, did I get one for free? Cool. It looks like a ticket. What the hell are those? It looks scary. Oh, lucky! Like a soda? A uh, bottle of water? Ooh, another pen. All right, so we can give her. Oh, so I wonder if we can give her the same gift. Another water, water bottle. We'll go to ninety, then go find someone to talk to. Another pen. I wonder what Biakuya. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why I keep saying his name different. Biakuya. One more. Ooh, and a ring. All right. Yes, let's get going. At this point, though, like I, I'm, I'm having fun mispronouncing names. I, I know it's probably disrespectful <laughs> to the characters, um, but yeah. I think it's funny. All right, so uh, Hafumi. I don't really don't want to spend time with Hafumi, to be honest. Um, Chihiro is one of them. I... I'm gonna guess he's in here. Yep. He seems to be really focused on that book. Now's not a really good time to talk to him. Well, fuck you then. Dickhead. Oh. Hey, you. Oh? I can't concentrate with you here. Kindly leave. What do you think I was doing? Oh, did that door go somewhere? Okay. Let's talk to Chihiro then. Hello there. Hello there, Makoto. <laughs> Nice to see you here. Hmm. Should I hang out with Chihiro for a while? Yay! Aw, she's so cute. Yay, I really like talking to you. I spent some time talking with Chihiro. Chihiro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to? Yes, let's yes, definitely. I wonder what she would like. So she's like a coder, right? 
I don't know what to give her. Mineral water? And coders love a cup of noodles, right? A ration? A kitten hair clip. Maybe she'd like a kitten hair clip. I don't know. I was gonna say, if, if What's-Her-Face was still alive, maybe. Uh, Junko. God of War Charm? Axe Gloves. I know she wants to get stronger. Maybe I should give her that. Emperor Stong? Water Lover? Kirlian Camera? I don't know. Uh, maybe it doesn't matter. Self-destructing Cassette? Maybe she'd like that as a... Mr. Fastball? It's too late. Maybe she's like an antique doll person? Someone's graduation album? What was this? What is this? A thin edible film made from starch. It's commonly used as a candy wrapper, but also helps cover the taste of bitter medicine. Okay. Made from the seeds of coconut and fiber, these used to Buddhist prayers. You can determine your wish based on how you're positioned. Now, that'd be for what's his face. Ancient tour tickets. Two tickets that advertise a whirlwind tour of Mu with the Ancients of the Days of the Three Nights. Two novelist pens. School press. Despair bat. No. I think that's it. Um, I think I'm going to give her... Maybe the... I feel like Celeste might also like the dolls, but I don't know. I want to give her the hair clip, I think. Let's go with that. That's a pretty hungry caterpillar. A caterpillar toy that has all the rage years ago. You pull it, it moves up and down, making it look alive. A jewel treasured by an ancient super race. Even the devil has friends, you fool. And then tears flow. Where, where was the clip? It clips up here. Maybe not. Is there a faster way to go through these? Where's the clip? Oh my god, where's this clip? There we go. Jesus. Um. Oh no, I hope you don't hate me for this, but... Well, you see, I mean, it's not that I can't accept it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I think I upset her. She probably thinks worse of me now. Mm. No. No. What's wrong, Jiro? Um. Oh, it hurts. Huh? Did you get hurt, Jiro? You know? Oh, well, not really. I got bit by a mosquito last night. A mosquito? Oh, I I figured something serious had happened since you were saying how it hurt. Huh? Oh, it, did I give you the wrong impression? So sorry. You don't have to apologize. It was my own fault. But you said it hurts. Did it really bite you that hard? Um... Yeah, see, look. She held out her arm. The huge red bump stood out, clearly against her pale skin. Holy cow! What should I do? It's way past itchy now. It really hurts. But why is it so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? You're wrong. Oh, no, I was awake. But you didn't notice? Mm. No, I noticed, but... But what? You know? She want... Is she trying to, like, make herself stronger by, like, letting it bite her? Well, I, I felt it bite me, and I looked down at it. But I didn't do anything. I just sat there and watched it suck my blood. You just watched? Why didn't you smack it? Huh? Because that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but... You know? It must have been really hungry to suck that much blood. If it was that hungry, it would have been really sad not to let it have anything. But... It's just a mosquito. Um... Mosquitoes are living things too, though. It might have its own mosquito family. He's so innocent. Sorry, I know that's dumb. No. Really, you don't have to apologize. But you don't go scratching it, okay? It'll just make things worse. But... But what if it gets so itchy I can't take it? Well, in that case, just take the tip of your fingernail and push it into the bump. That'll help. Huh? Wow, I had no idea. <laughs> You're so smart, Makoto. 
As she said that, she smiled like a tiny, cute little animal. I wonder if she does that on purpose. If so, that's a whole other level of scary. Mm. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? Huh? What is? You know? Well, the school is completely sealed off, right? So how did a mosquito get in? Maybe there's somewhere here in this school where bugs can live and grow. Some kind of nature-y spot. Nature-y spot? Place in the school? Well, I can't say for sure that there's not. Uh. Or, or, or! Maybe there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out, to the, out of the school. A secret passage? Well, even if there's not, I'm sure we'll get out of here somehow. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll be able to get out of here in no time. <laughs> You're right. Working together is super important. But... Of course, I don't know how I can be useful. I'll probably just weigh you all down. That's not true. It makes me feel way better knowing you're here to help. Huh? It does? Really? Yup. So let's all do our best, okay? Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Makoto. Your hero's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Once we were all done, I headed back to my dorm for a little while. We, does, we should have some more time. There's still time left in the day. I don't feel like sitting here. Maybe I'll go explore. Let's do it. Leave the area. Yes. I wonder, like, so do people get, like, moved around now? I don't know if I've actually, like, noticed. Let's, like, look at the map. See if anybody by their rooms. He's in the kitchen. I want to talk to him. Yoko... Coco, she's back in her room. Maybe we should talk to her again. Laundry. Dressing room. It's like part of the thing was like maybe talking to them a bit more. We'll just give her another What's pen, right? Your problem? What do you want? Hmm. Should I hang out with Toko for a while? You want to spend time with me? I don't know what you're planning, bud. Do whatever you want. Spend some time with Toko. That's that face, man. Toko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Toko a present? Yes. All right, so we can give her... I kind of want to give her... What's this? A charm devised by a protective deity of martial arts. Great and gracious. No. She's like, talks about like, owing herself to the, to the, um, like the master or something like that. So. A porcelain doll due to exquisite craftsmanship of the doll and its clothing, many people still collect and prize them this very day. This one, or it, uh, uh, Asura's Tears? A jewel treasured by an ancient super race. Even the devil has friends, you fool. And then tears flow. Look, maybe she would like this? Let's give it to her. Why not? What is this? More pity? Do you always give people presents when you pity them? You really are a total sucker. Does that mean she liked it? I thought Toko totally hated me. But it's not like she's going out of her way to avoid me. Still, we're not actually talking either. Hey, Toko? What's your problem? But what? You have a question? You have a question for your classmate? Huh? Is she happy? So I, I kind of asked before, but do you like what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> I just write. I am serialized, so I'm always really busy. And when I'm not writing, I'm studying. I'm not an idiot like you. Damn it, I had to go and open my big mouth again. You must hate me for sure now, right? No, I, I didn't really didn't really bother me. But I can't believe you actually write novels. And that people all over the world read them. So how do you get your ideas for what you write? Is it like real life experience or Are you stupid? What? I told you! Didn't I? I write romance novels. How could I use my own real life experiences for that? It's all my imagination. It's just delusions. Delusions let you fall in love as much as you want, even if you never do it in real life. 
Or are you saying you can't write romance unless you already have lots of experience in love? No, not at all. <laughs> it's okay. I'm used to people making fun of me. But someday I'll show them. I'll get pretty someday and show them all. Bowling over like magma, Toko stormed off. This time, I'm sure she hates me. <laughs> Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. All right, so we spent some time with Toko today. Once we were all alone, all, all done rather, I headed back to my room for a little while. All right, nighttime, another day done. Another day done. I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better get something before it, before it's nighttime. I should head to the dining hall then, I guess. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's do it. Let's go take a look. I have a feeling something's gonna happen. Maybe we'll get a potential cliffhanger, you guys. To the dining hall! I just wanted to get something to eat, and now I'm about to get roped into something like this? Actually, no. I guess I'm already roped in. Listen to me! Hey, Makoto! Perfect timing! Huh? What's going on? Hey, damn it! I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, guys. We'll end it there. End it there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon. Stop by Premiere Monday, Wednesday, or Friday at 2 p.m. EDT right here for more Danganronpa content. Until next time, go forth the rest of your day, make it a good one, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.